good news, by the way, about Gemma. So they found out what she has. It's TSS, toxic shock syndrome. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, oh, it's the first okay. time that I actually know a person that has it. Like, I heard of it a lot, but it's so strange. Because, like, literally, she had pain in her whole body. Mm -hmm. She had diarrhea. Mm. She had a light headache. And she was incredibly tired. This is my first day of the period every mm. month. You know, yeah. like, how yeah. do you True. think that you have that? Was it with mm. tampons? Yeah, it was because oh, of the tampon. So, like, her boyfriend comes home, sees her lying in bed, like, talks to her, and she just responds very strangely. And he, thank God, like, mm. brought her to the hospital. Mm. And then they found it out. But it's like... <laughs> Good news, she's on antibiotics, she's going to be fine. But it's going to take, I think, a couple of weeks until they, they let her go home from the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, but sense. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm like a little bit insecure now about using tampons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I get it yeah. because, I mean, for me, it was mostly because, I mean, at first, because of the pollution, like the waste that uh, pads and tampons mm -hmm. causes all, all the time. And um, I think I, I read that just for one individual in its lifetime it's 135 kilograms of waste it's huge yeah. Wow. yeah it's just what yeah what's up with that and um and uh i think it was 800 years just to decompose really yeah no. in the ground so yeah because i think it's microplastics mm -hmm. that are used to make temples and paths that yeah. are hard to uh, gather when you it's already in the ocean and it's just like wasting then yeah. mm. so i i think like then you you're asking yourself like why bother you use those you know mm. so yeah i mean because of these issues i was considering to use the menstrual cup mm. at least i think it's more better for the environment mm. but we're still a billion people using this product and yeah so yeah in the end and, true. in mm. the end it's waste and mm. it's plastic true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah by the way have you heard about a natural sponge Natural sponge for Natural. what? Natural sponge for tampon. For what? Tampon? What? A sponge like this one or what? For tampon. Actually, it is. What? what? I was <laughs> joking. <laughs> this this well, one. Yeah. It's a tampon. It's a tampon. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you. I mean, recently I got a gift from my friend, mm -hmm. uh, the natural sponge as tampon, mm -hmm. and I'm using this for several months. It's so comfortable. Wow. I don't feel at all. I'm surprised. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? And uh, I mean. I mean, just the whole setup, like, what does he, what do you, how does it work, this? Honestly, I have no idea of this. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, it just seems like, like an ordinary um, equipment for, like, an aquarium. Ah, oh, right. I mean, you have the evaporation compensating system, right? To, yes. like, regulate the salinity mm -hmm. of the water. <laughs> yeah, I have an aquarium at home, uh, so I yeah. I'm kind of, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but, like, yeah, so the water doesn't get saltier, um, Especially if you don't have a lid like here on the on the tank, mm -hmm. and I guess you also have a heater. I see. So this one yeah, is a heater. Yeah, that one is a ah. heater. So I guess, and it makes sense because the Mediterranean. It's a Mediterranean sponge. Yeah, it's a Mediterranean, it's a Mediterranean sponge, sponge right? Yes. Mm. And you also have like the circulation system and like the the filter in one, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So you have like mm. the water is like moving around mm -hmm. and. Um, you get the nutrients and like the, the bacterial feed for the sponge, like all in one system. Okay. That's like it's really crazy. fascinating. Mm -hmm. But what I don't get though is like why you have a protein skimmer. It's like the other one. Mm -hmm. um, because like the protein skimmer is um, actually exchanging the water, like taking out the waste the, a mm -hmm. sponge produces. I thought the sponge is a natural filter, so it, like it filters the water by themselves. Ah. But yeah, I. I don't know that much about the sponge, but it's really, really interesting. It's super interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also this component of sponge is totally the same of skin, oh. human skin. Wow. Really? Yeah, so that's why it's so comfortable. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. Because with you, Manami, are you like already telling all your friends about it? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just curious about the sponge and it, I'm looking to the internet. And then I found that sea sponge is existing Greek water under 40 meters. Five million years ago. Wow. wow. It's Roman times. And before there was no plastic sponge, it's common to use as washing dishes mm -hmm. or body and also start yeah. to use as menstrual products. But at when, that time. when was it used as a menstrual product? It's around 2,000 years ago. What? Oh, wow. 2000. But, but why don't we know about this? Exactly. Yeah. Because due to the sponge and like a deep 
Due to the disposable tampon into the market, it's disappearing mm. time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But even I couldn't find any disadvantage information about sponge as a menstrual product. Same. Wow. Yeah, I and surprisingly, yeah. uh, I found that still in Japanese sex industry, they use it as a common menstrual product mm. because it absorb blood very well yeah and uh, it's easy to pull out even it goes into deep use, oh. uh, using shower or something mm. okay yeah. Yeah. so you can use it for sex also yeah <laughs> <laughs> but okay seriously like how how does it i mean it's very big no how do you mm. use this if the sponge grows to the right size to be used as tampon i simply cut it During my period, I follow the usual routine of checking it when I go to the bathroom, just like we normally do during menstruation. And then I wash it with water before reusing it. Once my period is over, I usually leave it in vinegar overnight and let it dry in the sun. We can actually use the same sponge for about two years. After that, I've been thinking of repurposing it as a pot for growing sprouts. It's a great way to give it a second life. When it comes to growing it for use as a tampon, it takes around six months in my aquarium. That got me thinking, I could share some with my neighbors, friends, or even my niece. Growing the tampons in a home and sharing that with people who I love, giving them a second life. Isn't it beautiful? Happy, I'm we are having this kind of conversation. Yeah, yeah. it's so necessary. To talking about that stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the sponge. To the sponge. And we have to let Jenna.